a few days ago the house of reps sat and some members or a member who was representing a particular state from the north the northern part of nigeria had moved this uh you know started funding this bill that was supposed to remove some clauses from the constitution to make nigeria an an islamic state because the moment they remove that it's going to mean that nigeria will become an islamic state and then the media houses began to talk about it i did a video about it where i talked about nigeria being a secular state it cannot be you know allowed some other members of the house of reps spoke about keeping the the bill aside and people should look into it critically it should not pass first reading at all it should not get to second reading and they had to call experts to talk about it people said everybody it is actually a crime for you to force people to do your religion when they are not supposed to do your religion so they called this professor who had so many things to say he talked about how the he said he prefers nigeria to go apart like the north should go on its own the south should be on their own that that's the only way that the the islam people would definitely the muslims would definitely want to islamize nigeria whether it takes them that they, they are very subtle that whether it takes them 100 years whether it takes them 1000 years they would islamize nigeria like especially when they are all gone as in they would have died they are, the the gen z's don't care about all those things so all these um muslims who from the north will come to the house of Re- uh, reps and they will begin to talk about islamizing nigeria and it will not sound like it's a serious thing they'll just tell you please remove that clause the moment the gen z's don't know what's going on they'll just say okay now let's remove the clause bam you have gotten it so they said are you sure it's possible to islamize nigeria he said yes that turkey was 89 98 percent christians but all of a sudden turkey today is more is, a, is an islamic state that if the people if the muslims want to do islam that when um, t- um when abasenjo came he allowed them to do sharia so they did sharia that the sharia should be in where in their location but that if they allow them to if they are insisting of putting their religion in the constitution then everybody should go their separate ways that it was the the britain that came here and forced the south east and west to be together and they did not give them any direction on to who is holding what and that is why because they knew that the the not hold on to their religion which is islam that he said religion is one of the reasons nigeria is the way it is because everybody is fighting for his own religion and religion is something he feels that is something to pre- imprison people to hold them captive that's what he narrated so now let us go to the comment section and see what people said somebody said this man has always said the truth since i knew him more grease to your elbows right komodo Olua, Olu, Wumi, respect uncle the man is actually a an ex komodo like he was in the navy before he's retired someone said mr Olu, Wumi, i am greatly pleased to see you on the television again on this very sensitive issue tinibu should please let the north go their ways and the south go their ways i would rather fight with my last breath to be a christian than to join a religion that honor lives and enforces their religion on others if many nigerians can be like you then we would get to where we need to be god god bless and keep you so this man had said that he was studying islamic religion he knows them that he takes people for prayers that people who have visited him he has taken them for prayers that he's not ag- against the islamic religion what he's against is don't force it on other people don't tell them to put it in the constitution that that is wrong the man said they said okay can you explain the clauses he sat down he explained it he said because the, the britain want to still have so much power over nigeria that is why the first the three people three you know major ethnic groups remember nigeria has other ethnic groups but the three major ones are the hausa 
um Igbos and the Yorubas that the three and now you see that the Yorubas too are agitating to have their own nation, the Igbos are agit agitating to have Biafra. So it's the South that has not even agitated for anything. They the 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 new the thing is the 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 Britain told the Hausa people that if the Igbos are not part of you, you are going to be hungry because that is where the business is and that's where we want to invest in. That was why the then military head of state decided to bring them together to put them to put the three together that they're not supposed to be together. So this man is saying it's not possible that he will hate a people like that that he will he studied their own religion. He said imposing your religion on others is wrong. And then you know, other people commented. Someone said absolutely, you know. They talked and people had their opinions. Most people were of the opinion that if this man is saying this and some other people are turning a blind eye to it, then we are in danger. So they have asked him, what's the solution? He said the solution is Nigeria should disintegrate. But you know, it's, you see, sometimes he say, oh, they should do Northern Nigerian and Southern Nigeria. We can all be a different country, Northern Nigeria or Southern Nigeria, or power should be given to the state so that if the government, if they are gov uh, governors decide that they will Islamize the whole of that, they are, and that is why you see even in Kaduna, the Kaduna South people are going through a lot because they have decided not to, you know, go into the same religion. Okay, now, if you look at it critically, even in, in Joss, they are trying to do the same thing. Joss has always been a Christian state. They want to turn it into you know, a Muslim state. It's not good. If you live in a country with other people, allow them to practice their religion. Do your own. Don't try to bring them into your religion by forcing them. Now, they have, the, the man has explained that they went through agitation, trying to agitate so that they can, you know, they are trying to agitate so that they can make force people to be in their religion. When they saw that that didn't work, they are now they now sent some people to the House of Reps. In they made them to win election, went to the House of Reps and told them it's subtle way of doing it. They said the 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 French the France that's the French people, the Americans and the Britain they have a stronghold. On Nigeria, that when the gold they mine in Nigeria, the diamonds and all of those things, that they have a serious cut. So they, they think they all those things they mine and take it out of the country, out of Nigeria, and they don't they it doesn't go to the government coffers. So what that's their benefit here. The more they Islamize and take over the Arabs come here, will do what they want to do. That why should people you know, the Roman Empire, according to them, they said the Roman Empire is to imprison people. That was the reason why they brought all this religion into this. But my own is, in as much as I don't want Nigeria to disintegrate, I know my Igbo brothers want to go their separate ways. My, and I used to say it, that if you know that you cannot give the Igbos a fair treatment, please let them go their separate ways. Let Igbos go. You understand because one man said on the comment section he said biafra is possible and it is the only way out because they are these white people the britain brought us together and forced us together and the good thing is that the constitution before now had made nigeria a secular state if not what happened to um what happened in turkey would have happened in nigeria so that was one why the House of Reps had to, you know, scratch, throw away the bill because it's not something that anybody welcomed. Even though they, some of them, they can give them money and say, go and push that bill again. It's not every bill that will pass first reading. It's not every bill. So many people have raised concerns to say, ah, what is it that you people want to really do with this country? Is it not enough that you have been taking power, only you taking power, only you taking power? And you know what? The, another of their agenda is they give birth to so many children so that during election, they can have, they can also win so many, you know, positions. That's what they do. So that they can win. If they give you their vote, you will win that kind of stuff. So 
whatever the strategy god will not allow evil prevail in our land that is my own 